Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. I need to get a bread knife, man. But this thing is pretty sharp, so. Good morning. Good morning. 23 minutes away. Shit. Mostly just because of olive, man. Fresh hat. Fresh hoodie. What's up, dude? Anyways, guys, what's popping? We are currently at a plant shop, one of my favorite plant shops in Indianapolis. We've got our athletic greens going on. I woke up feeling very clear headed and calm. And then when I was getting ready, I got like a wave of irritation and frustration and which led to anxiety. And so when I actually, when I got to the plant shop, I put in my trusty headphones and I just sat here and did my version of meditation, which is like sit in silence, close my eyes and do just deep breathe. Just feel it out. Try to try to center myself. That's been the most powerful tool uh, dealing with your everyday anxiety. Also, when I have a feeling of anxiety or irritation, um, Sometimes I just try to like observe it. Like I'm a passerby uh, next to a river and I'm just watching an emotion kind of flow down the river. And I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna play in that river today. I'm not about it. Let's rock and roll. How's it going? Great, how are you? I'm doing well. Awesome. Let's see if you have any questions. All right, dudes, we are at, uh, we're, we're downtown, downtown Indies right there. Uh, we're in Mass Ave, and it's kind of like where people go out and go crazy and get a little crunk. Yeah, we're gonna grab some lunch at one of my favorite places called Garden Table. Guys, this video is sponsored by AG1 by Athletic Greens. You know them, you love them. I stopped drinking caffeine like over a year ago because I was getting super anxious and I realized that um, mellow, calm, mindful mark was like the most productive mark. And I wasn't going to be able to achieve that while drinking three cups of coffee every day. AG1 supports mental clarity and alertness and I never thought I was gonna be able to feel that without caffeine coursing through my veins. I'm normally a pretty clean eater, but on my off days, I wanna be sure I'm still getting all my daily nutrients. Vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, adaptogens. It's also vegan, paleo, and keto friendly. Just add one scoop or travel pack to eight to 12 ounces of water. It does look a little funky, like a bunch of grass, but it tastes sweet, a little minty. If you guys wanna try this stuff, which I highly recommend that you do, Go to athleticgreens.com slash Marky Miller to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is gonna give you guys a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. You doing all right there, bud? You doing all right? You thriving? Are you thriving? Oh, good, oh, good. Want a stick? Want a stick? Go ahead. I love this tree for some reason. Nothing like a little nature to make the day better. By the way, this is the plant I got. It's a peperomia and I'm keeping it in its plastic pot because this pot I recently just got 
Um, I think it's really cute, but it does not have a drain hole, so. And this is the candle I got at the plant shop too, because it was on sale and it kind of smells like lemongrass, which is like my all time favorite smell. And while we're doing a bit of show and tell, this is my childhood dog. Riley. The sad thing is we had to put Riley down when she was like seven and a half because she had some really bad hip issues and she could barely walk. Olive is the same age uh, that we put Riley down. This girl has unlimited energy. She's like not showing any like decline of old age or energy loss, which is great. You're gonna live till you're a hundred. I picked three houses for today. All of them are bangers. They're litty, they're bussin. The first house we're looking at is this beautiful brick mama in my old neighborhood of Los Feliz. Let's just take a minute to just gander at this gorgeous, this gorgeous beast. A reason we're gonna be looking at a lot of houses in Los Angeles is because there's just a huge variety of homes in LA. Six bed, seven bath, 15,000 square feet. Oh shit, that's a big ass house, boy. On a half acre and it was built in 1926. We're in the foyer with the world's shiniest wood floors. What do you guys think? Is this stage furniture or is this the previous owner's furniture? This doesn't look staged to me. This looks this looks too like well done to be staged. I think that's like a the wet bar for the theater before you walk in the theater. I'm just guessing. I wish we had more pictures of this theater room. I don't like, it looks weird, doesn't doesn't it look weird? It's like a strange configuration. These, this beautiful stone inlaid into your backyard. I think it's called like a, a Tudor. Whoa, look at this Zen room. And these uh, poofs, I think that's what they're called, poofs. House number two is designed by John Lautner. Um, you may have heard of him. He, he and Frank Lloyd Wright are some of like the two most well-renowned um, American architects. The house is full of groundbreaking innovations. Being the first house in the world with an infinity pool, having an entire facade made of frameless glass, walls that can swing open with remote control, and with a driveway that floats in the air. This house is built in 1958. It has three bed, four bath, 4,700 square feet. This is the aerial shot of the house right here. What the what it doesn't show you on Zillow is that this property actually has a tennis court. Like 3D doesn't really do it justice, but this is built up like 20 or 30 feet off of the street level. Take a guess at what that is up there. Maybe it's obvious. It's a tennis court. Crazy looking. <laughs> do you think these are bumpers? Like so the cars don't run into the side or fall off the thing? The little detail of the fireplace that swoops up there. I'm assuming that you could put like a pillow right there and then just cozy it by the fire. This picture kind of shows what I'm talking about. From the street level, it's just so much concrete going up here. And if we zoom out, you'll notice in Silver Lake, in this area, it's the only house with a tennis court. Home number three is probably the most famous house in America, at least one of them. Um, it's called the Ennis House, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. Three bed, four bath, 8,000 square feet. Again, right in Los Feliz area. Frank Lloyd Wright also designed a lot of his own furniture. And so like these tables and chairs right here, I mean, I can guarantee you that's his word. In a home this large, having like an intimate low ceiling space like this to just like shoot pool, kind of chill out, I think it's almost necessary. I'm not a big fan of how square and boxy and I don't know, it just looks like a commercial building, like a really cool commercial building that you would rent out for like a wedding or something. My go-to peanut butter is normally a dark roasted, uh, crunchy peanut butter. I found this one, light roasted. Oh shit, it's very sexy. It's very, oh, oh, we spilled. That's okay. It's very creamy. Creamy and crunchy. That concludes house tours with Mark. Oh no, we spilled. Get that right there. Get down the rug, <laughs> you little shit. You want daddy's cream pie? <laughs> you want me to give you this cream pie, baby? <laughs> Sorry, I'm five years old. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't know when my light is on. Put I'm put <laughs> I'm putting you on blast right now, puppy. Twelve thirty. Walk. Man, it'd be so crazy. You have to like go outside just to take a shit. <laughs> but anyways, guys. 
Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you soon. I love you. And I see you. And a bye-bye. Guys, last thing I wanted to mention is that I started a Patreon account. I'll be posting one extra video per week on my Patreon account. Um, we can interact together. We can like direct message. It's just gonna be like a lot more intimate, like a little intimate community of people. Uh, so if you wanna join, the link is in my description and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.